This video segment is on adjusting entries. You have just completed your worksheet, then went the f and then created the formal financial statements. We now need to go back and update the general ledger. So we're going to go to the general journal and do our four journal entries for the adjustments. So let's look at a partial worksheet and look at the two adjustment columns. You will see this is a worksheet and in the adjustment columns we have four adjustments. The first one has to do with office supplies, getting that account up to date. So we have our debit and our credit amount for transaction A. Then the second one is to get the prepaid rent upticks up to date. So we have rent expense debited and prepaid rent. So a debit and a credit for the B adjustment. The C adjustment is for depreciation on word processing equipment. So we debit the depreciation expense, word processing equipment, and we're going to credit accumulated depreciation, word processing equipment. Again, both parts of our adjustment. The last one is for salaries that, we will, that have occurred but we have not paid yet. So the D entry is office salaries expense debited, salaries payable credited. So on the worksheet, you've already figured out the accounts debited and credited. Then when you go to the, journal, the general journal, this is what your entries would look like. You start the adjusting entries right underneath your other journal entry. You skip a line, write the word adjusting entries, and then do your A, B, C, D entry. So you put in the month and the day here. The debit amount is always listed first of an adjustment. Here is the credit. Skip a line. Here is adjustment B, debit, credit, skip a line. C, debit, credit, skip a line, and D. Once you have done these journal entries in the general journal, you will now post to the general ledger. Once you have posted and those accounts balances are up to date, now you have the true amounts in the general ledger. So let's go back and review. Once you've completed your worksheet and your financial statements, you're going to go back to the general journal and create the four adjusting entries and then post them to the general ledger. The purpose of this is to get the accounts in the general ledger up to date.